Hey everyone, this is Road Pickle Steve uh, coming to you again from Verdi, Nevada here at the Gold Ranch RV Casino and RV Park and there's uh, our road mistress, Sash <laughs> I'm working! I'm working in my in my Lularo and my Adam the Woo shirt Whoop whoop! Adam the Woo! Look you back on YouTube So what I wanted to do is uh, I want to show you my um, Verizon 4G antenna that I installed on the trailer. So that's what I use to help me pick up a better uh, 4G LTE signal. That white box up on the top, that's the actual antenna. That guy cost about a hundred bucks or so on um, Amazon. Put it on a little gray PVC pipe. And uh, there's a couple of wires that draw down from it. One of the there's actually two antennas inside that antenna box. One is a horizontal antenna and the other is a vertical. That just means that the, the horizontal antenna is laying flat horizontally while the vertical antenna is, is actually kind of standing up vertically. That actually allows you to get the maximum uh, 4G LTE signal. Um, and so that's why it's like that. So both those wires are coming down into my trailer actually go right inside that um, ramp door. You can see the gray pipe is held to the uh, door latches with um, these little screw uh, clamps. So they're all together with the wires, the antenna, the pipe, cost me about 250 bucks buying everything on Amazon. Now, um, a lot of people use the Wii Boost RV antenna. That's actually an antenna plus an amplifier. Um, and that costs about $500, about twice as what I paid for my little setup. And uh, what that does is that uh, takes the signal um, and then amplifies it, makes it more loud so that your, um, your MiFi device or router or phone can hear it better. Um, however, the Wii Boost antenna is not a dual antenna system like this it's um, it's just a single antenna so you don't really get the true uh, 4G LTE coverage or signal strength in order to get the maximum signal strength you need two antennas a horizontal and a vertical um, so that's why I got this instead now I did really give it hard consideration about getting the Wii Boost RV. However, um, Verizon's plan, as well as all the other plans, Sprint and uh, um, I think of all the other plans, but they still cap your your maximum bandwidth at about 10 gigabytes a month. So even though you can get faster signal, it just means you're going to use up your 10 gigs a lot faster. So I figure, well, well, why in the hell should I spend 500 bucks on a Wii Boost if it's just going to cause my um, Verizon plan to drop you know down to 3G a lot sooner so I decided to just go for this $250 setup so I can save some of the money on that and it still helps so like the last place we were camped at um, we were in Crescent City and our Verizon signal was really bad in fact uh, you could hardly you hardly pick up anything from it uh, but this antenna was able to give me about uh, 10 decibels more signal strength so I could actually get online even though it's still on 3G at least this antenna got me to where I could use it and so um, I figured hey it's better than better to spend 250 than 500 on a on a Wii Boost amplifier and plus I'm getting the maximum uh, signal strength I can get using the dual, dual antenna system um, Another thing you want to make sure is that when you get a router or a MiFi, make sure it has two antenna ports so that you can plug in both a horizontal and vertical antenna. And uh, the ones that Verizon is selling right now, and I think AT&T as well, they are dual antenna um, MiFi devices. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for today. This is Road Pickle Steve. Over and out. Bye.